Before getting sick with AIDS, victims are infected with HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. HIV is transmitted via unprotected sex and direct contact with blood during blood transfusions and unsafe needle practice. HIV can also be transmitted from mother to child during pregnancy, delivery, and breastfeeding. The virus attacks CD4 receptor cells in the immune system. Their role is to launch a counterattack when the body is invaded. Like any other virus, the AIDS virus has to penetrate a cell to replicate. The receptors on its surface enable it to merge with CD4 cells, immune cells. Once inside a CD4 cell, the virus modifies the genetic material. This means that HIV adapts the human genes so that our cells make copies of the virus. In just one day, our cells make billions of copies of the virus. During this preliminary stage, symptoms, fever and fatigue, are often mistaken for the flu. The body hasn't had time to register that it's under attack, and some tests are unable to confirm the infection. Second stage. CD4 cells lead their army of white blood cells into battle against the virus. Once besieged, HIV multiplies more slowly. This is the latent phase of infection that usually lasts for seven or eight years. Symptoms are few or even non-existent, and the immune system continues to function. Third stage. The immune system is overwhelmed. The number of CD4 cells plummets, and the virus proclaims itself the victor. The HIV-infected person falls ill with AIDS and becomes easy prey for opportunistic infections such as tuberculosis. It's somewhat different for young children. Their insufficiently developed immune systems are unable to combat the virus and they fall ill very quickly. Left untreated, 50% of them don't live to see their second birthday. 